I hold a lead pig with a highly radioactive source here. Welcome to Wheeler Scientific, and in today's video, I'm going over how and why I made this. Firstly, what is a lead pig? A lead pig is a device used to store or transport radioactive items safely. I made this pig a while back. The original intent was to create a neutron source using radium and beryllium. I scrapped that idea to make a radium point source for nuclear demonstrations. I have so far used this source for a few of my videos, such as the inverse square law and bending radiation. The fact that the source can only point and output in one direction makes it safer and easier for such demos. As I said previously, this lead pig contains radium. I collected the radium from antique alarm clock hands I bought off of eBay. I place them into the hole I made in the pig and seal it with foil tape. The tape does stop some radiation from escaping, such as alpha and low beta particles. But other than that, the gamma and high energy beta just passes right on through. The first step in making the pig was choosing the body for it. In this case, I used a 2 inch black pipe nipple that was 3 inches long and a 2 inch pipe cap. I then melted up some lead. The lead I have here is scrap lead that I got from tire weights, fishing weights, and some solder. Some oxidization formed while the melting, and I used a spoon to remove it. The nice thing about lead is the low melting point, which allows it to be easily melted on a simple hot plate. I place the black pipe nipple onto an anvil. The anvil acts as a thermal sump. When I pour the lead into the pipe, it will solidify almost instantly due to the coolness of the metal anvil. I did a few pours not to overwhelm the cooling, and I was worried about the lead escaping on if I pour too much and pour it onto the bench. Lead is used in nuclear shielding due to its high density. The high density stops the radiation. Density is related to how much stuff is in a given area. The more stuff there is, the denser it is. The more stuff in a given area, the more chances a nuclear particle have to interact with them, thus transferring its energy, stopping the particle. I ended up not having enough lead, so I had to melt some more and pour it in. Lead likes to hold on heat, so it took a while to cool. I then filled the cap with lead too. Without lead, the radiation could pass through the lid quite easily, and was measurable outside the container, and this is a no-no when it comes to lead pigs. Once cooled, I took it over to the vise. I initially wanted to store a vial in it, so I made the hole much more significant than it is now. I refilled the hole with some molten med and re-drilled it later on. With the hole done and the lid filled, I then spray painted it, protecting it from rust. Six pounds of lead goodness, keeping radium safe inside. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting my channel by liking the video. And if you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing to the channel. Consider joining my Discord server also. There's a lot of like-minded scientific individuals where we discuss a wide variety of topics, from nuclear physics to chemistry. I look forward to seeing you again. See ya. Here's the final. Well, I don't know, but I've been told uranium ore is worth more than gold. I sold my cad, I bought me a Jeep, I got that bug, and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium.
fever is spreading. 